he's made a mistake. Now, Steve Dunn looks at it for a long time. It is a pitch. Off stump. Going on. Is it going to straighten? I think that's the question. Certainly, uh, pitches in line. Forceful appeal from Daniel Vittori. Answered uh, in the right way by Steve Dunn. Aravinda De Silva's gone for 37. Sure. Full toss from Harris, and this might go all the way. McMillan does a good job. No, he can't pull it back. It's hit the rope. And uh, that is a rare boundary, but a valuable. Oh, oh nearly a mix up. You have to get back in hurry. And Perori couldn't take the bails off. It was a sharp pick up from Matthew Sinclair, but the throw was off target. And Perori just couldn't quite get it back. Darmasena was at full stretch. He knew he was gone. Good bowling. This could be another tight run out. It's good. It's gone. Question will come upstairs, but oh, I'm convinced he's gone. The opposite direction. Had to turn and throw over his shoulder. He's out of here. Big wicket that. Darmasena is on his way. The fielding has been outstanding from New Zealand, 164 for six. Eric Upashanta is the man in. Oh, dearie me, that was Fleming again. Now, if he hit on the full, I mean, he was quite a way away from uh, the stumps on that occasion. So 50 again for Russell Arnold, backing up his 50 that he scored at Napier. Uh, when he does, it's uh, beautifully controlled, and the timing there, gee whiz, what a stroke. Oh, but getting the ball well up, it's just dragged it down enough so that Arnold could have underneath it and punch it away. Beautifully struck. Oh dear, that is a huge, huge blow. That could be the match right there. Andrew Tan, daring me. My word, folks. Well, the youngsters, I should say. Just turn your head for a second. The long barrier will do. McMillan. Just dropping it and running. And it's going to be close. It could be close again. Another direct hit. Upashanta is gone, I think. He looks desolate. Performance by New Zealand. The feeling they have hit the stumps all night. Chris Harris, one stump to aim at. And Upashanta is uh, short of his ground by a long streak. This game is still alive for New Zealand. It's 192 for seven. There we are, 14 runs from 11 balls. That is a massive hit. That what is emphatic stuff there. Holy cow, that could be the shot of the match. Up. Well, this could break the hearts of the New Zealanders who have tried valiantly this afternoon to defend what's not a large total. 204 for seven, two to win. He's going to go for the singles. Vittori's going to run him out. No, and he doesn't. Scores a tie. There it is, signed off by Zoysa. One bounce, he says, thanks very much, we'll take it. A workmanlike performance by Sri Lanka. Chasing 206 to win. And Arnold, Russell Arnold, the man at the other end, has played the major role. 78 not out, Zoysa signed it off, nine not out. Sri Lanka, who have uh, struggled for success in recent times, have now gone two up. What a player this boy is. He averages 44 in the one-day game in 44 matches. He kisses uh, the emblem on his helmet. Zoysa uses that long reach, and there it is for Sri Lanka.
That is a big lead in a five-match series. Fleming did uh, his job as captain, and a disappointment is obvious. A couple of little mistakes. And Sri Lanka take the honours here at Wellington. So the batting innings reduced by one over due to a slow bowling rate. They had 49 to get the 206. They needed to go 2-0 up. They lost Atapatu early. The start wasn't a problem for the New Zealanders. They did it pretty well again, Martin and Franklin.